Today, we'll go through the process of backing up your Nessus scanner on both Linux and Windows. Please make note of the files and directories listed here as to which you will need to back up. To begin, we will go to our command line session for a Linux system. Please verify that the Nessus service has been stopped. To do this, you can either use the service command, and that will be service Nessus D status. As indicated here, my service is still running, and what I'll do is I'll change this to stop. Once this status of the Nessus scanner has been completely stopped, please verify once more to make sure that the status is no longer active. From there, we will use the tar command to back up the entire opt Nessus directory. To do that, you'll use tar hyphen Z C V F. And we're going to add the backup file to your temp directory and we'll just label it Nessus backup tar.gz. And the entire directory we want to back up is opt Nessus. You'll hit enter, and this will start backing up the entire opt Nessus directory. Once the backup is complete, you can verify the backup by using the tar space hyphen T, V as in Victor, F as in Frank, and the file that we created. You can change into the directory of temp and verify that the Nessus backup is there. Take the targz file and place it in a safe location to store your backup. We are going to move on to backing up Nessus on a Windows system. Upon your Windows system, go to the command line and run as administrator. Then we are going to use the command net stop tenable space Nessus. This will stop the service so that you can proceed with backing up the appropriate files. We will then go to your file explorer, go to this PC, and we'll drill down into local C drive. Then we'll go to view, enable hidden items, drill down into program data, tenable, Nessus, Nessus. I'm gonna create a new folder and label it Nessus Backup. Then, the files that you'll back up is going to be the global DB. So I'm going to copy this. And then I'll drill down into my new folder and I will paste that. I will proceed to also copy the master key. As well as the backup folder. And the last directory or file to back up is the user folder. Those are the files that you'll need to back up. Once that is complete, you can then compress the directory or file or folder and store the backup in a safe location.